So it looks like Dying Light is free for this weekend only. But the only problem is, is that this is only available on the Xbox Game Pass. So I'm sorry if you play on PlayStation, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> Well, it was funny to me because I actually was not planning on playing Dying Light. And all of a sudden, I saw them go, oh, it's free this weekend. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go again. So anyways, we are playing... Okay, so it's 8.14 in the morning, and I just realized Dying Light 1 is on Game Pass now. Only for the weekend, though, which absolutely freaking sucks, but I mean, what can you do about it? But, I mean, at least it's free to play. If you never played Dying Light before, I don't know what you've been doing with your life, man, but you've got to play this game. Come on. Okay. I got my drink. Guys, I only just got out of bed like half an hour ago and I had to do stuff on the internet, but we are good. Oh, look at that. Free play day start now. What's up, everybody? My name's Jonathan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video for today. And obviously, for today's video, we are playing Dying Light 1, not number 2. And most of you are going to be wondering, why have I gone back to Dying Light 1 again? Well, it's because that there's the free weekend, so I decided to go back to Dying Light 1 again, I guess. But at the same time, I absolutely love playing Dying Light 1. It's it's one of my all-time favorite zombie games out there. And like what I said on all my other videos on Dying Light 1, this is the reason why I have the Xbox One in the first place. Because I still remember when I first saw the, the reveal trailer, and then they had at the end of the trailer, like, available for, like, the Xbox 360 and whatever. So, of course, my mum decided to pre-order the Xbox 360 edition of Dying Light. But, yeah, about that. They cancelled those. So, I wasn't really able to play Dying Light properly until my birthday came along, and then I, my mum surprised me with the Xbox One and Dying Light. It's one of my first ever Xbox One games, basically. And mate, I absolutely love playing this when I was younger. But besides that, everybody, let's continue off with the campaign like I did on my last video on Dying Light 1. And yeah, make sure you subscribe and also like the video, share this video, do whatever you want with this video. I don't really care. How the heck does that make any sense? I have no idea. But besides that, let's do it. Man, whoever thought that you could be doing this, you it's time. So it's pretty obvious on why a lot of people absolutely love Dying Light 1 compared to freaking Dying Light 2. Maybe because of the entire setting that Dying Light 1 has. I mean, you've got good parkour, you've got the whole zombie horror theme that they absolutely nailed. And just the gameplay as well just felt really f***ing good, man. Sorry about the coarse language, but just looking at it now, it's pretty impressive over the years, man. Even after 9 years this game being out, it still holds up really well. Uh, how do I whack a ball? Yeah! It's still shocking to me because there's a lot of people that still play play Dying Light 1 and do all the hard like mods or the hardest difficulty that you can play on, which is still quite shocking even after so many years that people still play Dying Light 1 and still show support on the game as well. But at the same time, there's no point of going into great detail on Dying Light 1 and why I absolutely love playing it because I've already made a video on it. Hey, if you want to check out that video after this, be my guest. How is it I go back to this game and it also it's actually, I know what I'm doing, but when I go back to other games, it's how to lose shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just say that a lot of us are playing this because, well, I don't like the bases coming around the corner, and I cannot wait for that to come out. You know why? It's gonna be a good time if you're a zombie fan. Any problem is about this game, you get so used to dying like two's mechanics that you can't drop off a freaking building with a power glider or whatever the case may be. Locate the people who can take you to Sector Zero. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go in here. Oh, oh, oh. Housekeeping. Hey, zombie! I fucked that up. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Oh, man. Why could we go back to the good old days, man? I miss when this game was in its prime. Like, everybody was playing it, but the freaking love and support that the game actually got was absolutely insane back then. I mean, that's the one good thing about Techland, is how they always support their game and don't give up on the game. What the fuck is this on me doing? <laughs> okay. Well, it's like they were done like too, even though the game did get pretty dicked on badly by the community. They're still supporting the game, even after two years of the game being out, and all of a sudden, they're going to keep updating it for the next five years. Find the tunnel leading out of the slums. Oh, hang on. Am I going to go to that other area? Ooh, la, la, la. It's also crazy as well when I look at all the movement that most people do and I go, how the fuck do you do that? But even I can't do that. Well, it could be because I play on Xbox, not PC, but you know what? Enough for me. Oh my god, no. Okay, we got a good choice of getting absolutely screwed over. I can't believe how stupid I am. My dad didn't realize that this game actually has New Game Plus properly. It took me that long to realize that I could have gone back and played this all the freaking time before Dying Light 2 came out, but of course not. That's my luck, ain't it? Anyway, hello. Oh, this would be the one thing I would never understand about why Don Light 2 never had a freaking sewer. That'd be really cool if they add that in, man, but that's not gonna happen, ain't it? We tried to keep the route clear, but there may be some infected here and there. Shouldn't be a problem for you, though. Oh, affect it. Oh, yeah, no effect in my ass. Okay. <gasps> hey, zombie, are you going? Fuck off. 
Bombas is not the answer. It's the key to freedom. Like this. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, hang on. I have to get killed these freaking zombies. Hang on. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm getting freaking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god. Big cup. Oh, yeah. Come here. You're fucked. You bitch. Come here. This is what my thing minus. Wow. This is so anticlimactic right now. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god. What the Oh, killed himself. Oh my god, that face the best game mode of all time. Not really game mode, but yeah. <laughs> Man, what absolute shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this is actually not freaking broken at all. Big boomba. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, the fuck? Oh, 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 hi. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Welcome to the new setting on Dying Light 1. I do like how there's like two massive areas that you can play on. Okay, that, oh, oh boy. I do prefer this area over the slums area. I need to go over there. Oh, shit. Okay, let's do it. Trying to tell me that we did all this effort to try and find a cure and absolutely went to freaking shite. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Hey, zombie. Or say anticlimactic. I'm still shocked there are some people out there that have never played this game before. And wasn't this like one of the first Xbox One games that you can actually play properly? Because there weren't a lot of games when they came out. It's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. Almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. The hell happened to you? Oh, okay. Let me just do my freaking safety plans like this. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Does it make any sense that I'm Crane, but I'm playing as Bill from Left 4 Dead? Oh, hello there. Oh my god. Good to see you again. With Spike? Holy shit, how'd you get here? Oh, Spike! Uh, I mean, you have gotten older now. Oh, hold up. If you're looking into leveling up really fast, do this. Okay, so what you want to do is this. So you go into your recent save and go into advance and play and switch to nightmare difficulty. So all you do now is go back to Spike or every quartermaster out there. And you see I'm level 51 at the moment? That did absolutely nothing. But when you have more of that, it actually does work out if you do drop off more of the drop packages and everything. That's what most of my friends told me about when you play on Nightmare Difficulty, and I didn't know that for a long time. So, I mean, that's one way to do it, yeah. Okay, anyway, what we're doing? <laughs> like, the easiest way to just go around the map is go grappling hook, grappling hook. Oh, hang on, I already know about this. Oh my god, I fucked that up. Oh, yeah, here we go. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it up. Yeah, fuck off. Whoever thought that the GRE are absolutely shit. So kind of crazy though how there's a fallen zombie apocalypse happening in the Haran and that, and the rest of the world are okay. I always forget how much shit there is to do in this game. Oh yeah, what a great time to be in a fucking sewer. Man, that was the easiest way of doing that. I can't believe that Crane thought this was a good idea to go to Haran, get all the classified shit, and just leave. That really backfired on them, did it? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's one way to do it. And zombies are there. Oh my god. Splite. Ooh. And they try to make the zombies really scary and hard to kill. And the crane comes around the corner with a stupid baseball bat. Like, yeah, it's just fine. Man, I really do wish that they had like a dying light day zero. That would be really cool to see that. I mean, if Techland ever think of something like that, that'd be really cool. But it's like how they got a quiet place day one or whatever. Just the ideas that they could like make would be really interesting. But yeah, I don't know anymore. The fuck? <laughs> just come in here like no problem. Just go, oh my god. <laughs> I'm going through absolute hell to come here, man. Ah. <laughs> oh god. Violence is not the answer. But when you play a zombie game, of course it is. Oh my god. Uh oh. Is, it, is that a child crying? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Come here. I don't know how that makes any sense, but I'm gonna accept that. Man, Techland had balls of steel to add freaking zombie kids in this. A lot of companies don't do that, don't they? Because you can't tell me that the only adults were in the zombie apocalypse. Like, come on, Michael, Michael. Oh my god. I need to get out of here. Where do I go? Upstairs, man. Well, no, downstairs. My fucking lordy. This is so hectic. I love it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. This is actually shit. Never mind. I'll take that back. I'll go, Crane. Oh, I love this freaking part, man. Doesn't even fucking work. <laughs> 
Okay, just a heads up, everybody. If you never played Dying Light before, this is a spoiler alert. So, yeah, if you don't want to know what's going to happen, I would just say to skip this part of the video. But if you want to stay, be my guest. No, 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 no. Stop autographing. <laughs> okay. Wonder Museum Custodia. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime. I absolutely love nighttime. Hell, by my expression right now, that I really fucking hate nighttime. Even after playing Dying Light for so many years. Yeah, I still hate the nighttime. Oh, my God. I think I almost butchered that. Billy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, I didn't mean that. What the fuck am I doing? Oh yeah, this is a great time. Oh my god. So then I proceeded to go to the museum and it turned out to be absolute chaos because you got zombies, you got humans trying to kill me, and you got Jonathan's gameplay that makes no sense at all. So yeah, top tier gameplay right here. I went through absolute hell for these two fuckers to be in my way. Oh shit. We meet again. The last time we met oh my god, guys. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand too. Your choice. You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort. Rice has absolutely lost the plot at the end, and we got Tahir. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> god damn, I love this shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? And they can't aim for it. Why is there a dead body there? Yeah, right. I got the freaking bombs. <laughs> Come on, let's do it, bitches. I can't aim for shit, dude. Okay, this shit easy. Don't worry about it. Like how they got all these weapons, like coming around with a freaking boomstick. Can't be that bad. Okay, I'll just walk around like a lot of can do. That's fine. Look, look at this. How easy is this? Kill the infected. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh la la. I have there is research. The GRE will do as I command, which renders the two of you useless. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Help Jade kill the effect there. Shit, it's fucking easy. Oh, man. Campaign on this game was good. The boss is actually good. Oh, man. I really do hope for Dying Light the Beast. It's going to be the exact same like this, man. You ready for the best boss fight of all time? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet. She did get bit. She was bitten and infected hours ago. A novel of her to try and hide it from you. All of a sudden, we had to go through the absolute craziest mission that I've played on Dying Light. And man, I don't know if I was tripping balls or something, but holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is absolute trip. Hey, up there, literally, I trip heaven, whatever. I can't see anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the absolute trip zone, McGee, tell me. Oh my god. Is this what Nani is like? Uh oh. I bet that's what the infected see. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Craig. Guys, I'm gonna kill you. You wanna see me mad, don't you? Are you kidding me? Oh no, she's gonna eat the guy bear. I'm not here surprised anymore. No, I don't want to kill you. Man, why is always good characters? Where are you, Tahir? Oh, I don't have any of my good shit. Oh, my god, you're thucking massive. Oh, well, this was a boss fight. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Jade lost her life for this thing. It's just lying on the floor. I guess Rice must have dropped it when he was trying not to get shot, huh? Shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, to hear. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. 
I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes? Then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. Oh my god. Well, god damn. Hey, well, god damn. I got all my stuff and bing bada boom. We'll be a okay. Anyways, where were we? Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And just like that, everybody, Dying Light is for free this weekend only. So if you haven't played Dying Light already, I would strongly recommend to actually play the game. Because Dying Light has to be one of the best zombie games that I've ever played. Because, hey, you can't say no to parkour and zombies. Like, <laughs> how can you say no to that? But, hey, if you already played Dying Light 1, let me know down in the comments down below. Or even if you're going to be playing it this weekend, let me know as well. But besides that, everybody, make sure you subscribe. Because one of the way to 2,500 subscribers. But besides that, everybody, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.